Hello guys, welcome to another class on Amit Teach Engineering. In today's class, we are going to be talking about the non-flow energy equation, which is also abbreviated as NFEE. The non-flow energy equation states that the gain in internal energy, the gain in internal energy, is equal to is equal to net heat supplied plus net work inputs. Therefore, gain in the energy which is changing you is equal to net heat supplied capital letter Q plus network capital letter W change in u which is the final internal energy minus the initial internal energy is equal to q which is the heat supplied plus capital letter q which is the network input this is the non-flow energy equation and it is true the above equation the above the above equation the above equation is true the above equation is true for a process or series of process provided there is no flow of fluid into or out of the system. So provided there is no flow of fluid into or out of the system, the non-flow energy equation can be used. So guys, let's move down to, to some examples. This is example one. But before then, let's talk about the sign convention. Sign convention. Sign convention. All it will be assumed that all external input to the system is positive. Therefore, heat supplied, therefore capital letter Q, capital letter Q, the heat supplied, heat supplied to the system. the system is positive likewise work work input to the system Also, heat is negative, it is negative, it is negative when it is rejected from the system from the system also work is negative work capital letter Q is 
it is negative when it is negative when work is done by this system work is done by the system on its surrounding So guys, this is the sign convention. This is the sign convention. Whenever heat is supplied to the system, it is positive. Also, when work input to the system, it is positive. Whenever heat is rejected from the system, the Q, which is heat, is negative. And the blue work, whenever work done is done by the system on its surrounding it is negative so moving down to the examples example one example one solution solution in the cylinder of an air motor the compressed air has a specific internal energy of 420 kilojoules Per kilogram at the beginning of the expansion so at the beginning of the expansion it has 420 kilojoules per kilogram which is the which is the initial internal energy in the internal which is u1 is equals to 420 kilojoules per kilogram and a specific internal energy of 200 kilojoules per kilogram after the expansion so after the expansion, which is the final internal energy, is U2, is equal to 200 kilojoules per kilogram. We are asked to calculate the heat flow to or from the cylinder when the work done by the air during the expansion is 100 kilojoules per kilogram. If you can remember, in the sign convention, I told you that whenever work is done by the system in this question the, the system here is the air so work is being done by the air therefore work which is 100 kg by kilogram is negative we are also look for heat flow which we don't know while work done by the system is negative 100 kilojoules per kilogram Therefore, from our non flow energy equation, we state that change in internal energy is equal to heat supplied plus network input, which is U2, one internal energy minus initial internal energy is equal to network net heat supplied plus the network input. Therefore, the final internal energy, which is 200 kilojoules per kilogram minus the initial internal energy which is 420 kilojoules per kilogram is equal to the heat flow which we are asked to look for minus 100 kilojoules per kilogram so therefore you collect your like you, you, 200 minus 420 it is minus 200, 220 sorry minus 220 which is equal to q minus 100 in collecting your leg terms we have minus 220 plus 100 therefore the heat flow is equal to minus 200 minus 220 equals to minus 2 plus 100 sorry is minus 120 kilojoules per kilogram so therefore heat rejected heat rejected by the system is 120 kilojoules per kilogram that is it guys so moving down to example 2 Moving down to example 2. 
in example 2 solution solution please guys do ensure to hit that subscribe button down below if you are getting value out of this content this will encourage me to do more videos like this so in example in example 2 in the compression stroke of an internal combustion engine the heat rejected to the cooling water is 45 kilojoules per kilogram so therefore the heat rejected remember in, in the same convention i told you that the heat rejected whenever heat is re rejected from a system it is negative therefore q capital letter q is equal to minus 45 kilojoules per kilogram and work input and the work input is 90 kilojoules per kilogram work input which is 90 kilojoules per kilogram we are asked to calculate the change in specific internal energy of the working fluid stating whether it is a gain or a loss so we don't know whether it is a gain or a loss so we, we are going to look for it so we are asked to calculate the change in internal energy therefore the change in internal energy is unknown so therefore from our non-flow energy equation we know that change in internal energy is equal to the net heat supplied plus network input so therefore change in internal energy is equal to minus 45 plus 90 so therefore change in internal energy is equal to minus 45 plus 90 is 45 kilojoules per kilogram so therefore this is a gain you will also see whether it is gain or a loss so therefore gain gain in internal energy internal energy it is again in internal energy of 45 watts kilojoules per kilojoules so go that is, this is going to be the end of our class hope to see you in the next video goodbye for now